Hey there, welcome back. Um, so it's a new day. Jason and I are ready to get started with our turn. Um, we are in the night phase, which is uh, round four out of six. And we've only revealed one of the three cities we need to conquer. And um, if you did not watch my rules video yesterday, I was, or that I did earlier today, um, I was explaining that we had a really tough start. And then it's even tougher now because we have to defeat one, two, three units before we can even get to the city. And that's quite a challenge. Or we have to walk all the way around exploring these tiles to get to that city, which is possible to do because Jason's actually on that side. And I could also try to move to that side by taking out this, whatever that is. Uh, is that a mage tower there? Yeah. Yeah. So I can maybe attack the mage tower and take him. And then what Jason and I would do is we would ignore these three and then just go around because we have two other cities we need to conquer anyways. Um, so that's what we got to decide, Jason, is how do you want to do this? Do you want me to try to plow through those three, which I think would take the entire night and probably all my cards to do? Or do we try to just get more exploration in and then go after whatever next city comes up? That would mean you have to go through this and I would either have to follow you or go through my own guy. If you can kill those three and get to the city by the next day, I think it'll end really well. So that means you would have to take on whatever your next city is all by yourself. Yeah. You do know I have a lot of wounds in my hand, right? In my deck? Yeah. All right, well, let's... We, we could just go... Let's try thing. it. Let's try it. Um... Obviously, your guy's a piece of cake, and you can provoke him. Oh, and um, one of the rules that I came up with, Jason, today, I was actually going deeper into the rules for everybody. This little wall here, when uh, you have a marauder inside of a wall, he won't get provoked. Oh, really? You can't provoke him out of his wall, because that's a safer zone for him. So even though they're jerks, they, uh, they won't come out. So we played that rule wrong. And then um, somebody did clarify for us that when I provoked this guy and had two movement points left, we explored this tile. Can't do that either. But all I would have done is just not spent the card. If I, if, that, if I understood the rule correctly, I would have just saved the card for the next round. But it would have changed things a little bit, but it, that I'm not as worried about. But this one was a pure cheat because I was able to attack him without the fortification, right? Because... I assumed that he would come out of his wall and lose his fortification status. Mm -hmm. But in that case, you have to actually attack him straight up. So, and, and so what it also means, though, is I could move, you know, like this and he won't get provoked. All right. Um, so with that being said, uh, I took preparation, Jason, which let me search my deck for a card and add it to my hand. And guess what I added? I added a, a wound. And the reason I did that is because my cards heal two wounds, and I only had one. So I figured I'm going to pull a wound out of my deck, add it to my hand, so I can just heal it right off the, right off the bat. But it's your turn. You actually start this nonsense. Um, just a refresher. Jason is on a mage tower. Um, you should probably put a marker there, show that you own it. So he can hire both of these mage, elite mages um, if he had the influence which he's shaking his head, which I'm assuming no. it's a no. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to do this, draw a card. And get a ruby ring. So now I am going to... Now remember, you can provoke him without spending any move, if that's what you want to do. And But he is fortified, so your range attack won't get him. Don't even have... And you got... So just to summarize, I know you can't see the cards real well. Jason has two move cards. No, one move card. He has one range okay. attack. I'm going to provoke him. Uh, he's going to attack me. I have a shield bash, which blocks three. Blocks oh, yeah. his attack. Yeah. Which he's right here. Can you turn it around so people can see it? Shield bash. So block three counts twice against swift. Which he's not swift, so it's yeah, fine. But you were able to block him. Yep, I block him, and then I'm doing determination with a blue crit. Oh, no. No, that turns into a block. Yeah, it does. 
We didn't think about this. We'll do the blue and the sealed badge. Did you read that? Oh yeah, blue on shield bash, and then well, however... read read for everybody what it does. Yeah, okay. Um, block five counts twice against an attack with swiftness. Blocked enemy gets armor minus one for each point of block higher than needed. So, I'm blocking five, and then his attack is three. So, so that means he would only have uh, armor yeah. of one. So you shield bash for an attack of two, kill him. Yeah, or you can even have done a block two, right? And that would have killed him too, because <laughs> every block above. Um, hurts him. So you annihilated this guy. Um, okay. How many experience points do you get? Two. Two. And you are green. Boy, you're winning this game a lot. I'm the, look, I'm way behind him. Oh, one other thing is, uh, one of the viewers, um, Andrew pointed out that I forgot to take plus one fame and one reputation one time. So, uh, I did adjust that as well. Okay. So you got your guy, um, uh, what else are you going to do? I'm assuming with the ruby ring, you're going to take your crystal. That's an interaction, right? Yeah. I can't do anything. Okay, but you have, like, the ruby ring. I thought you were going to at least do stuff like that. I'm saving it because you used me a red mana token. Oh, that's right. You don't need to use a red mana token this round. All right, so you spend three cards. Um, it's a decent round. You needed to kill this guy anyways. And um, that, I think you did a fair move. And you're staying on the in the mage tower because there's a chance you might get influence, right? To yeah. hire that mage guy. Uh, Jason has two empty hire slots there. Oh, don't forget, you killed a green guy. You get a plus one rep. So hand that to me and then increase your rep by one. Which... Oh, I need ten, dude. You need ten what? Because I have minus one rep. They, it increases the influence I need. Yeah, that is true. <sighs> so it's a tall order. But you might still be able to do something. There's illusionists here too, or something. But the illusionists actually give you an influence of four. So if you hire them, then they give you four towards one of these. Mm. Think about it. Yeah. All right, uh, AI is next. One. Something must have got bumped here. Two, three, we got a white. There's one white crystal, so we're gonna draw one more. Um, the one thing I love about this game is that was super fast. Taking the AI turn. Okay, so what I wanna do here is I have a, a heal card in my hand, and I'm gonna, but it could also be used for other things. Green. And we do have a green die. So um, I also have an influence card, which is really good. And one of the things I was contemplating doing was moving to Jason's mage tower to hire one of these mages. Um, so that would, if I did that, um, so maybe, oh, there's a mage tower I can conquer. So maybe if I can conquer that mage tower, I can just do that. So let me see what I can do here. Um, and he doesn't have fortifications. Correct. So I'm gonna do this, which is, I'm sorry, can't see. I'm going to use this guy to do a heal two. And there's a green die here that'll do that. That heals two wounds. So that goes into the wound deck. Jason can help me with that. All right. So <clears throat> the problem I have is I have no attack cards. I do have this uh, crossbowman that can attack, but I need seven damage to kill that mage tower. And, um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not using this guy. I'm using my card because I want to get this card out of my hand. That's why. Uh, I can use this guy anytime. And um, these are both influence cards for hiring somebody. So uh, that's my biggest issue. And, and then of course this will amplify something. So I have one, two, three, four. I'm only drawing one card, Jason. No, uh, you use that card. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm counting a card I used. Thank you. Here's another black. So this is going into my discard pile. And so yeah, I'm gonna get to draw two cards and I got a wound and an attack card. So I at least have some more attack if I need it. And I ended my turn on here so I get a crystal. So I have two blue, I'm gonna take a green. So that way I can do my heal if I need to. All right, it's back to you, Jason. Okay, 
That's a hill. So that would cost you three movement. Well, here. He's thinking of moving here. Okay. But you want to recruit, too. He's what, recruiting what? an interaction. Yes, that would be your whole turn. Okay, I can... I'm going to use one of my special abilities. I'm going to get a white mana token and a green crystal. Okay. Well, we can see what you're doing. Oh, you can? Oh. Yeah. They couldn't see your token that you played. If you want to show that up, give that oh. to me. I can show that to the camera. Yeah, I played this. So he played this. I gave him a green crystal and a white mana token. So the mana token he has to use this round or he loses it. Yep. So okay. I'm, and I'm going to use that on my promise to get influence four. Oh, that's good. And then I'm going to use... You're going to lose a rep if you do that. Yeah. Okay. So he used influence four, and then the other one is... Threaten to get influence five. Now, hold on. You used a crystal to do that? Yes. Why not use your ruby ring and you get a mana token? True. Okay, use the ruby ring. I get a red crystal and a red mana token. So then you can use the mana token mana on your card. Mana token on the influence card. Ah, see, your dad's got his, he had his coffee now, tonight. nine. I have nine, but I you, minus one, no. so. No, you have N-I-N-E. You don't have, you don't have zero. You have nine. What? Are you making a German joke? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so which one are you buying? Okay. Um... I can't recruit this. I would love this guy, though. So you're sitting on nine? Is that what you yeah, said? Yeah, I'm sitting on nine. Are you willing to turn I something sideways? <gasps> Wait, I can! Mana draw, turn sideways, bam. Now I have ten. And let's see here. I, I have reputation minus one. That's why I need ten. Right, I know. Card. Yep, agreed. Range, fire attack, fire attack, or fire block. Okay, this guy is pretty good. Well, there, it's just whether you want ice or fire, right? Is it actually... Oh, it's just... They're um, not exactly the same. The fire, the ice one has siege attack. The fire I'm gonna one. I'm going to take the ice one then. Okay, take it. That's the exact same one you had last game that no, we played, isn't no, it? No, it isn't. I had catapults. I thought you had ice mages too. Nope, catapults. Oh, Josh had it when I played with him. That was his unit. Okay, so you played your cards mm -hmm. down. So now we're going to go ahead and draw three. And hey, remember, you get to roll dice with your mana search. Oh, so yeah. I'll reroll to the black. I'm yeah, reroll the blacks, because we don't have any spells. Well, now you got a gold. That's even but worse. But I got a green. It doesn't matter. So we got a green, two blue, and then, of course, the gold can't be used. All right, so um, my dilemma is I need to take out this mage guy. So how are we going to do that? Um, he is not fortified. So if I were able to come up with seven range attack, I can take him down. I don't have that. I can take two attacks of three, but um, he has the bloodlust here, which means this would be a six damage and another six damage. That is hugely uh, bad. <laughs> so I would take four wound cards if I did that, which we already have a crap ton of wound cards. But I think I can actually take him out, though, and here's why. Um, we have an attack or block three here. Well, that's the other thing, too, is we could try to block him, but I, I don't think I can. So this is an attack of three, but see, this is a four here. And then I can use this, which lets me get the bottom part of this for free, and then add plus two. So I would actually be at six with these two. I need seven to kill him. And I could turn one of these cards sideways, but remember, those are my influence cards. Um... Actually, I can do that. So then I can block one of the attacks with this guy. And not, I, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, oh crap, I gotta have movement too, Jason. I don't have the movement to uh, go into the forest. Yeah, I don't even have the movement to go in the forest. This blows. I don't know if I want to use my heal just to heal one wound card from my hand. I'm okay with 
with parting ways with this card. But see, to get into that forest at night is five movement, Jason. <laughs> I can't, I can't do that. So what I would do then is I would want to move to your mage tower and let's let's do our other pa strategy of just going this way. What do you think? Are you going to be leaving your mage tower or are you going to recruit again? I'm going to be leaving my mage tower. So if I just stay here one more round? Yeah. I mean, I could I could use my heal to get rid of this one wound card even though I have others in my hand or others that are coming. It's up to you. I do have this uh, thing that reduces the train by two. Yes, do it. Well, okay, if I do it, it still costs me three to attack this guy. Yeah, and you have three, right? No, I have no move cards at all. Can you discard three? Not if I want to defeat him. Do you need the uh, mana? This? Yeah. Okay. Jason's pointing to this. I need these two together to do six damage to him. Mm. I need this to be the seventh damage. And I needed this to block him. That's my whole hand. Does your rangers move? I don't have rangers. Well, what are these? Herbalists, and no, they don't move. Aw. I used to have the rangers that gave me move. Um, I'm not playing this game very well, and I need to level up, so I need more experience points. Discard your wound. You're right, I could rest and just discard my wound, right? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna rest and discard my wound. And I draw back up, and I did just draw a move card. So we're good. So uh, your turn. Okay, so I have a green token thing to move four with this. I'm gonna move two with that, and I'm gonna move. Okay, is exploring a uh, interaction? No. Okay. It's part of move. So then I would have ten move here. This is three. Explore. Okay. That would be five. And we just found Volkar's camp. So that would go on, I think, like this. So Volkar is going to be level four. Are you kidding me? Which makes it a little bit easier than a city. All right, so uh, he needs... Wait, so we don't have three cities? We have Volkar instead? He's going to be one of the cities. Oh, okay. He's one of the three cities. This is... Um, I incorporated the expansion pack, and we're still playing Conquest that you're familiar with, but he was mixed in as one of the cities that we could have randomly drawn. Okay. But for the purposes of the video, I intentionally made him one of the cities. Does that make sense? Yeah. We just didn't know if he was going to be the third city or the second, or the first. Okay, and then this, is, this would be five, seven, ten. Okay, you will have a battle, because you provoked the green guy if you move that extra space. Okay. That, that diplomacy card should do it for you, doesn't he? All right, so if I'm gonna try to show this to you here, at level four, he has two green, one red, and one gray. That's actually not very big. So, um, his little card is going to be this thing. So we're going to put that there. We're going to take two green orcs, uh, one gray, which is the, um, the same as a keep token. And then what was the other one? A red. The red ones are pretty Actually, powerful. I'm a... No, I can't. That's these. Those are pretty badass. So. Um, so anyways, that's him, and he's here. He acts like a city. It's his camp. He doesn't move. He won't attack Jason or anything like that. Um, if we ever do defeat him, uh, at any time you want, on any of the spaces around his camp, you can just provoke a red or green uh, from the random draw pile. 
and then uh, randomly encounter a green or a red just to get experience points. Um, because uh, he, he had basically, there was a bunch of them that are still lingering around his camp even after you defeated it. And they're like hiding in the mountains or whatever. Um, and then you put a token on that space to show that you've cleared that area of, of marauders. The only thing with that is you don't get the reputation for it. So you're going to take on the guy. You would need six damage to kill him. Six? Because he's got physical resistance. Well, hold on. Your ice mages, can't they finish him off? Yeah. But then you're not using them to attack his camp. Does your diplomacy card do anything against enemies? I can use influence as block. And you would need four block, which you don't have. And I know you don't want to get rid of your training card, do you? I don't care about the training card, to be honest. These are three awesome abilities over here. Yeah. Agility lets you use move points as attack. This peaceful moment lets you, it gives you influence, and then it lets you basically use influence to heal yourself, no matter where you are on the map. I really want that one. <laughs> and then the Stout Resolve lets you do all kinds of stuff, and then you can uh, basically discard a wound. I don't know what I'm supposed to do against this guy. Well, you can burn your Ice Mages, which would um, win it outright. CJ's attack, he's dead. Alright, so you get four more experience and you get a reputation boost. So you're back up to zero. I know you didn't want to use your mage on this guy. Because now if you try to attack his camp, it's going to be harder. I get it. So maybe Jason... Um, well... Let's think about this. You could back up and stop at the monastery, and because uh, there's like you can hire the savage monks at the monastery, because you need to hire another guy. These illusionists are also at the monastery. Hey, and even the fire mages are at the monastery. You get you have three choices of guys at the monastery if you wanted to not move, and you can keep your ice mages, but that guy would not be dead. So what? What you're you're gonna move forward with it as is. Could I have redone that, and instead of moving here, I would stay here? That's what I'm suggesting. But I would still provoke him. You don't have to provoke him, that's what I'm saying, and then your ice mages would not be spent. Mm. Your cards would be the same. You didn't spend any extra cards. Well, if you want to take back a move card. Okay, stop, stop, stop. You can't take back a move card, because you didn't know what that tile was. You spent the 10 move points. Oh, no, no, never mind. You, you could take it back. I can take back one. I yes, can you can take back, back one. one. Mm -hmm. So the rules, folks, is you're allowed to see what the next tile is before you continue to spend move points. So the fact that Jason spent 10 move points all at once, uh, he didn't have to do that. So you taking back the fire mage? Or are you still going to do the attack? You got to decide. I'm still going to do it. All right, so he's still dead? Yep. Okay. All right, so we got to do AI. Or dummy. I like dummy better. We drew a red, so we have to draw two more. And I'm going to try to take this guy down. So it's five move points to go into that dang forest. I'm going to use this to reduce the move terrain penalty by two. So now, Jason, you can reduce terrain by one. Okay. Okay? And then I have this move, too, which um, I still need one more movement point. So I'm going to turn this card sideways, like so. And that's going to hurt me, because I'm now one card short of killing this guy or blocking one of his attacks, so i got to take four damage now. So hand me four wounds. 
and we'll go over this real quick. Uh, these are two separate attacks of three each, but because he has this, uh, I have to. I could block at three, but he's actually doing two attacks at six damage each. My armor is three, so it's going to take. I'm going to take two wounds for the first attack, two wounds for the second. If I ever take as many wounds in my hand as I have uh, cards, so if I ever got the fifth wound, he would knock me out, and the battle would end, and I would not be able to continue. So that's bad. Um, so the next thing is, is I need to spend a green token here. So this will become an attack four plus two because of this ability, so it'll be attack six. And I do have a green token, and so I'm gonna spend that. And so this is attack six, and this guy was gonna be my block, right? But instead, I'm gonna just get an attack of three or two, take your pick and just add some attack to it. And um, I had to use my guy up, but we defeated him. Now, uh, also when you attack a mage tower, um, you do lose a reputation. So I drop like you by one. No reputation. And this, of course, is defeated and I get, I know it's not zooming in properly, I get five experience points for that. So it's not enough to level up. But that was a big boost. And um, then also, because I have these four cards in my hand, I'm going to spend a green token to use my other guy, and I'm going to heal two of them before my turn ends. So that is going to help me with my hand management. And also, um, I get a spell for conquering this. So yeah, if you can hand those here, is the top one on the bottom? No, bottom one's on the bottom. So Snowstorm was at the bottom. Missed from the okay, so top one's on the bottom. Top one was on the bottom, so they were like this? Yes. Okay. All right, so I got a range attack five spell. Okay. I know, it, it was a bad choice of words. Um, that's a really nice card under most circumstances, but I think I want Cure. This gives me a heal two, and then draw a card for each wound healed from your hand this turn, and ready each unit healed this turn. So that's if you heal a, a unit that was damaged. That's really good, and then all enemies blocked during this phase, this block phase, get their armor reduced to one, so I could at least do something at night if I needed to. And then Jason had this one last game, it's a mist form. You move four, and then the cost of all terrains, including lakes, is two. And then the Veil of Mist is, uh, he all of his units gain, this is the one you had, right? No. That must have been Josh again. So he was able to move across no, the map with this. I, I had something similar to that, but it was a card. I'm taking Cure, by the way. Because I need the healing. Now, whatever you take for the spell goes to the top of your deck. So we have one, two, three... And then four, five, like so. And then you're just going to heal both of those and then draw two more cards. <laughs> yeah, I am. It's going to be awesome. Now, I do need your help, though, because I don't have a green crystal to do the heal spell. Well, so we'll see if I get one. Well, you get to roll two dice, right? Yep, and I have them, and I'm going to anyways. So. You're at it again. Okay. Oh, oh wait, gold. I got a... This, do the this gold. was a red. One was a red, and I'm taking the blue. Uh, sorry about that, but I got my white. Okay. If I don't get a green crystal, I'm got screwed. Got influence for this card. And then I got this card, which I'm going to use red here. And I got to discard another card, which I'm going to discard rage to get five and five influence here and, and then four influence here for nine influence to get this guy so you just took both of the elite guys and i'm not going to get any you don't even have any influence points. fine i'll get someone else well i mean there's a part of me that i'll get these guys okay okay thank you take i appreciate the savage that. monks then i have training 
So you'd have to discard a like your white card, and then you can get like agility or your peaceful moment or. Yeah, I'll do that. Which one do you want? Agility. So, just a reminder: this one's the one where it gives him move points, and then he can spend move points as attack points, which I think is pretty powerful. And and uh, you rolled a green, right? Yeah, a green. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> well, I really needed that. That was very important for me. So, um, all right, uh, your turn ended. It's the... See, the camera just destroys this map. Okay, one, two, three. We got a blue. One, two, three. We only have two turns left this round. That hurts. Okay, so um, we do have a green here, so we're going to heal two. So we're going to take the two cure or two of these, and I'm going to hand them in. And then it says I get to um, and uh, draw a card for each wound. So I'm going to draw two more, and of course get another wound. But um, the big thing is, is this guy. Oh, oh, I have a white crystal here. I'm going to do for influence four. Okay. If you use this during your interaction, you get fame plus one and reputation plus one. So I'm going to get an experience point and a rep. Oh, another rep. So influence four, and then my rep is two, so I'm up to six. And then this thing actually gives me five. So it's more than enough to get the fire mages. Um, I probably would have preferred something else, but I need to get the help ASAP. So we did that, and I'm going to do my discards, roll this die became a red and that's what I have left um, I'm going up against somebody who has a four that green but see I can't provoke him because see this wall I can't provoke through the wall so um, that's our new rule that we learned about and I'm gonna draw two cards it'd be really nice to get oh gosh if I level up I don't get one of these advanced skills the good news is, is this peaceful moment is going to survive until the next round. Um, so here we go. One, two, we're up to five. It'd be really nice to level up because then I can draw six cards. But, uh, uh, okay. Who isn't drawing six cards, am I right? You're drawing six. I get it. <laughs> okay, I have a move four with both of these. Which, I'm going to move here, I guess. Else to do. Are you going to be able to attack him, you no. think? <laughs> so what uh, Will Focus is going to give me a green crystal. So what's your plan with him? I have a blue thing here to get me any crystal, which I'm going to get a white one. And then I need to discard something to keep him, which I shall do. And then... It comes back to me. I roll. I get a blue. That's my turn. Whoa! Jeez. Sorry. Sorry about that. I don't know what made that tip over. Okay. So, bad camera work. Bad everything. Alright. And you do know you still have the terrain reduction, right? That you could have used? Oh, that means I only needed to spend one of those move cards. Yep. It doesn't matter, though. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to try to kill this green guy so I can get... Oh, it's the AI's turn. He's declaring end of round, so we only get one more turn. So don't do that. It makes noise. So I'm going to try to move here, which I need three movement points, and then I need to kill that thing. Four. So, um... Wall. Oh, I need four movement points. Jason's right Wait, no, because of the wall. Minus two. I have a what? Minus two. Nope, I already used it. It's only for one turn? Yep. Mm. So I have this here, which is discard another card from your hand to get move three, influence three, attack three, or block three. And then that card can just be my wound card. So that's not a problem. You gotta use your red. I got Hold you. Hold on. That's move five. I was just gonna turn a card sideways. No. 
Why not? Do it like this. Because then you can use that card in battle. Oh wait, no. You don't need to. You have a range thing. Yeah, but there's no white over there, is there? No, well, you have a white. I, I do. do. So, yeah, I don't need to. So I'm going to turn a card sideways, this one. Wait, is walls main make them fortified? Yes, they're fortified. That means you don't have it. <laughs> Oh, I see what you're saying. Did I really not ever heal with this guy? You did. I did, so it's down there. Um, okay, so we're going to use the red die. So that gave me five movement points. Okay, that's the first thing. That's done. So then we move in to here. We're going to attack this guy. I'll show it to you up close so you can see what we're dealing with. Now, um, he's fortified because of the wall that we had to cross, so I can't use range attack to kill him, which would have been perfect, because I happen to have a card here that had range attack four. That's what my plan was. But Jason's correct, I can't do that. So what I gotta do instead is I have to block a four damage attack first. And so this card will block five, but I have to spend my blue crystal. So I'm gonna do that, and I block five, so I blocked him, and if he would have done any damage to me, this is a vampiric ability, so if he would have done damage to me, his armor would have gone up by one for every damage that he did. So that would have made him even harder to kill. So now I only need to do four damage to him to kill him, and there's many ways to do it. Um, use your guys. But I'm going to use my guys because this is the last turn of the game. Um, um, <clears throat> so... I'm going to put them and then gain a white crystal. Yeah, I'm going to use them. And what they do is they give me a range fire attack of three. Or I can gain a red mana token and a red crystal. Um, there's several choices there. Or if fire I'm willing... Attack. Oh, you need a red. If I'm willing to spend a red crystal, I could do a fire attack and just kill it outright. But I think what I'm going to do is just do the range attack three and then turn this card sideways. For four. So that's four damage, and he's dead. Yeah. Then I'm going to use this card to get a white crystal in my inventory. And I apologize for the blurriness. The camera's like adjusting the different things here. Um, I get two experience points for that, and that isn't, doesn't seem like much, but my reputation just went up again to plus three, but two experience points is enough to level up. So I finally got another command token, which is important, and um, I now have a hand size of six. So unfortunately, uh, I would love to draw up to my hand size here, but uh, that's the last round of the game. So, or round of the, uh, blah, blah, blah. last turn of the round. You drew a whole bunch of wounds, didn't you? So, um, you get to go, right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna use the blue on my crystal joy to just gain a crystal with any basic color. I'm gonna get a blue. Actually, no. I'm gonna get a white. And then I'm gonna flip this over to get a blue, which I get a green mana token, but I'm not really gonna be able to use it on anything, so it doesn't matter. Then all of them get discarded because it's end. That's yeah, just end the round. You don't have to do... Okay, so I'm going to start. So the, um, the the dummy deck gets another card. And looking over here, that's a blue spell. So he gets another blue crystal. So I'm going to give him that. Can you take care of the spell deck? I'm shuffling the dummy deck right now. So he just revealed a new uh, advanced action card called Pathfinding, which gives you move points and then reduces the cost of terrain. And uh, these are the monastery cards. You could replace those. 
Okay, and then I gotta shuffle my deck. Holy crap, I have a lot of wounds. <clears throat> this is the final two rounds of the game, the final day and night cycle. So you gotta you gotta take him down. And then we have to be ready at the nighttime to take down the third city, which is not even revealed yet. You know that, right? Yeah. You know this is going to be really hard. It's looking dire for us. <clears throat> okay. So, um, the two skills are regeneration and ice block, but those are like luxuries because, um, uh, we're probably not going to be able to stop at a monastery to do anything. The four regular cards that come out, remember it's two because of the player count and then two because of my special ability. We have the thugs, the scouts, and the guardians. So these are the regular units. Um, the guardian golems are probably the only ones that are worthy. And those are really like, they're like the perfect ones to get at the regular level because they have physical resistance. Then here's our two elites, and sure enough, we got the Delphana Masters, which are like the best units in the game, or one of them. And then the Sorcerers, which I told you is one of my favorites, because the chosen enemy loses all fortifications and a range attack of three, or chosen enemy loses all resistances, range attack of three. How awesome is that? And he has resistance to all magic, including cold fire. So um, they're both awesome. I like these two units way more than the ones Jason and I just recruited. Um, the sorcerers can be recruited as mage tower or a monastery. The Delphana masters can only be recruited in a city. So it's daytime and Jason's rolling. And you rolled two black. That is not a good start to the round. These guys refresh. All right. I gotta draw my six cards. There's a bad start. One, two, oh, I got my heal card. Three, now we want a wound. Four, five, and wound. there it is, six. Got the two wounds. Um, oh, which of our cards are we destroying from the night? Uh, preparation or your, um, your mana search? Which one do you want? Preparation just lets you take any one card from your deck and put it in your hand. Nah. So we're going to destroy that one? Yeah. All right, hand me your mana search card. And then... Can you select a card for the dummy? Which one was it? Great start. Great start. <laughs> so now we get to choose which one we want. I want great start. Well, you don't get it. So... I'm going to take the right moment, if you don't mind. So that means I get to take two turns. Since I have a really thick deck, I want to be able to take an extra turn. I'm not at risk of running out of my deck. So he just took planning. So that means if he ends his turn with two or more cards in your hand, you actually get to take an increased hand size, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. So... Um, Great start is a five, so that means you're first, he's second, I'm last. Wait, it was the same order. <laughs> and I just yeah. moved it all around. <laughs> so, uh, you're up. I can't attack him with the cards that I have right now. Well, well, you got planning, right? So if you just keep the cards you need, you get to draw extra into your hand, correct? Yeah. I want to get training here. Hey, did we fail? We failed to draw some stuff. This is here. Uh -huh. And this is back here. I'm sorry, that was blurry. It's a dragon wyvern that's buried. We can't really attack well, it yet. I'm going to do training with a star, and I'm going to get rid of... There's a green, a blue, and a white. 
Green, a blue, and a white. You have four white cards, so you're going to take a, the white one. Okay, nope, I don't want this anymore. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I have good block, because I can use influence as block, which I have the block here. Well, what I recommend you do is get rid of, like, your training card, because that's not going to help you with battle, right? Your diplomacy might help you with battle. Actually, it does. It, it does. In fact, your diplomacy will let you use block to kill monsters, right? Well, it just lets me turn influence into block. Also, because it's daytime, we get to see what's in this keep. Utensil. So we got a, a guy who's fortified, but that's fine. He's in a keep. He's fortified anyways. Um, the good news is, is he only has a three damage attack. So he's just really high armor. I'm just going to discard my training and I have to just hope to get better stuff. You sort of did. You needed the move points. Yeah, I got the move points. Which, I got a lot of influence now, so <clears> I can really block. Okay, so I need four move points to attack that keep. Which is a bit of a tall order. Um... I'm gonna take the gold die no, please. to do the rejuvenate no. so I can heal two wounds. And then I have, use any non-interactive skill in the common skills offer as if it was yours. Use its effect twice if it's one that, that can be done each turn. Take a skill in the common skills offer and keep it for the rest of the game as if it was acquired through a level up. Um, that's definitely an interesting one. I think I'm going to destroy this card, Jason. It's an artifact. I'm going to destroy the artifact so I can take another skill from the offer. And the skill I'm going to take is my own, which lets my units get this little power up. I can get plus one range attack, plus two attack, or plus three block. So at least have that. And then this one here is gain a red crystal to your inventory. And I'm going to do that as well. Largely because I just want to get my hand cleared out here. So let's re-roll this die. Oh crap, I rolled another black. Oh. That's going to kill us. That is, We've... we have no way to re-roll those dice, do we? Nope. Well, your card. You have a few cards that let you take a die and do something, like your mana draw. Doesn't that let you do it? Yeah. Two, three, four, five. And I skipped the AI turn, so we need to go back and do that. One, two, three. We drew a white. One more. Okay. You are up. Okay. Using a green token, I'm going in. You're attacking him. This is going to be a huge battle. So Jason's going to reveal all of these. He I has to, to look at them. handle all of them at once. Well, this one doesn't have fortifications. And then on top of that... Um, There's a freaking wall. Remember, he's attacking you too. I have to fight him as well? Yeah. He's doing all of these? No, we're rolling a die for him. A mana die. And they're fortified. No, they're well, they're fortified because you have to go through a wall, yes. Except for this one. It's annoying. Does this guy have physical resistance? No, he doesn't. So you do have a siege attack four with your mage. Yeah. I'm gonna use can't. The dice situation is very bad. Oh, you have your okay, uh, crystals. I'm going to use... Jason, Jason, your crystal skills oh, are yeah. back. You're going to want to use those. So I'm going to use this, and I can change this. Hold on. Look, pause. I'm going to use mana draw. Why would you not use your crystal token skills now? Because that you, you get a white mana token from that. Instead. True. Okay. 
get a green green crystal and a white mana token. Yep. So I'm going to use that white mana token to take a mana die from the source and set it to any color except for gold, gain two mana tokens of that color. So one of the key things that Jason did there is we had three blacks here, so he was able to get one of the blacks and salvage it. So now you're going to get two of something. You want blue, for sure, because of the Ice Mage, but you, you can get a blue Jason from your skill. So what I would suggest is set it to white, right? Yeah, I'm setting it to white. And then I you need two white tokens? Yeah. Here you go. Okay, then I'm going to do Influence 4, Influence 4, Yep. which this influence is basically blocked for me. Yep. And then I'm also going to do Ranged Attack 3, which does kill this guy because he does not have fortifications, so he dies. Because he only has a 3? Yes, he only has 3 armor. Three okay, let me, armor. let me, yeah, so this guy has no fortification, and if he, if Jason failed to, to, to a, get it in during the range attack, it actually jumps up to six, so this was the perfect thing to do. So Jason killed this guy outright without him being able to attack back. Now, I think you're going to use your other skill, Jason, to get a blue and a green. Yeah, I'm going to get a blue, and let me hand you a green. Where's my other? Oh, my other green is here. But, mm. So you're going to use the green for a siege attack yep, of four. siege attack of four. And then a blue. And then a blue. For a siege attack of four, which is ice. Which. Oh, that guy has ice resistance. So he has ice resistance. He has all the resistances, doesn't he? No. He has magic resistance, basically. This one has ice resistance. But you can kill him with the ice. Yeah, I want to kill him, though, because then he's going to jump, jump up to 14. Well, you would need a lot of siege attack, and you don't have it. Yeah, you're not going to be able to pull that off. Yeah, but then it, it, this would be useless to do this one. Now, does that diplomacy only use influence as block, or yeah? And does if you have extra block, does it cause their damage armor to be reduced? No, no. So I'm only gonna do actually no. I'm gonna do this one because this is a mana token and this is a crystal. Siege attack of four, killing this. Okay, so two of them are down. Just put it over here for now. Two are down. Now this has been used. So now Jason has to block. I'm going to take this, put it on my influence. So I get influence 5, influence 9, influence 13. That's 13 block. Okay. And so then I have roll his die. See what he does. So the blue means he's attacking you with a 3 ice attack. See that? Wait, how much health does he have? There's no health. All you have to do is kill all of his units, and he dies, but he has his own attack he does on you. Does that make sense? Okay, so, I have 13. So can I do this? Is going to block this guy. This is going to turn into ice block and block this guy. Because I can do that. Choose ice or fire. You may use influence as a block. Okay. For the for the chosen element this turn. Then I have five block here. Which I'm gonna need twelve for this. Yeah, you may have to just take it. Which, by the way, if you're taking it from the wyvern there, that's actually really impressive that you're only getting hit by one. Yeah. Gonna have to take it from the Wyvern. Alright, so he's taking six cold fire damage from the Wyvern. Your armor is three, yeah. so that's only two wounds. You can handle two wounds. They go in your hand. Okay, so you took two wounds, but now it's time which for you to kill him. I'm gonna do an attack of three here. Attack of which three. Which attack. Oh, then I don't actually have to do this. Attack of two kills this guy. Well, you need to kill this 14, too. I can't. 
Your ice mages haven't attacked yet. And he has ice resistance. Oh, and they only do so ice. So that quadruples his defense now. Well, it does make it harder, yes. Um, I see. So you're able to kill everybody but the Wyvern. Yeah. And so then you'll just have to, like, heal up, and then maybe you can take out the Wyvern later this round. That's still impressive, if you ask me. So he kills this guy, and the only thing that's left is the Wyvern, and so we'll just keep it on there. And, and that's all okay. Jason has to kill next now, time. Now the thing is... Is if I go back in here, are these two gonna attack me? No, because because you have to do two movement next to them. You you got kicked back out. Okay. All right. So let's do your um, your reputation here. So he just took out three units for two. Oh, actually, hold on a second, Jason. I took out this guy. See that little horn symbol right here where my thumb is. I get a token. And the reason I remember that is because Jason gets a token too. So I get one of these red tokens, and then Jason does as well. So here you go, Jason. Take that red token. So you get two for this guy. You get three from this guy. And you get three more from this guy. So you get eight total experience. Oh, did you do it? Technically, my planning still works. Did you give yourself eight? Uh, no. One. Eight. All right, you just leveled up. Which I'm going to get two skills. Which I have. Ooh. All right, that. So uh, that one gives you plus one siege? Yep. Siege attack or every ice turn, siege attack? Every turn. And then we have glittering fortune. Once a turn during interaction, get influence one free. Each different color crystal in your inventory this influence cannot be used outside of interaction i'm taking this that's actually very powerful because you got the ice mages so now you just added a plus one ice siege yeah okay so jason got the plus one ice siege you get one of these uh advanced cards do you know which one you want i've seen this one i don't want it Spell four is gain one crystal in your inventory, the same color as one of the spell cards in the spell side. This is a movement plus terrain reduction. You can move two to move cost of all terrains is reduced by one to a minimum of two this turn. I'm gonna take this one. Alright, so he took spell force. What does it do? It just gives you crystal yeah, stuff? as one of the spell cards. Okay. Which, All right. technically, my planning is still in effect because so I have two cards. Jason got this, which... Uh, so let's figure out what this is. You got this, by the way. And what that is, is Ghostly Elixir. One attack on a single action card becomes ranged. So you can turn one of your attacks into ranged. And I got the exact same token. So we can both turn one of our attack cards into a range. Not siege. No, it's just range. Which I know doesn't help as much against that guy, right? So you'd have to take the six cold fire damage again. Can I actually... Can I pick up my hand and then pick those? The advanced actions? No, you don't get to draw your next cards. No. Okay. Um, okay, so you finish your level up? Yeah. Everything's done? All right, it's AI yeah. turn. One, two, three. We got a red, so two more. Wait, is this just a free range? You turn one of your cards into a range attack, and it's just a one-time use. Well, how much range? However many damage your card does, it's now range. Oh, so if you have a one of those four damage cards, but you now have four range attack. That's actually pretty cool. It's a good card. Is it every or, round or every turn? Once. You have to hand it in. It's it's oh. a one time use. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take on this keep here. 
and it's going to cost me four movements to get into the keep. And I happen to have a move two card, and I'm going to use my my little token, not this token, I'm sorry, this token, to reduce the terrain cost by two. So that's available for you now, Jason. And um, so I'm going to use a move two. And what that allows me to do is I'm going to move into the area where the keep is, and I'm attacking this keep. Um, I do lose a reputation of one. Wow, you lose a reputation. And I like negative 10. so I got this guy. Uh, he's fortified, so I'm not going to be able to hit him with range attack. I definitely don't have seven siege damage. So I just need to block three, and then I need to do seven damage, and I kill him. This is one of the easier guys you can ever run into. So um, I am low on crystals. Uh, I do have this card that lets me gain a token, or I can play the bottom half and get a plus two bonus. And so let me figure out what I want to do here. I have a block card, which can block five. Uh, so I'm planning on using that. And then I have this one, which if I discard another card from my hand, I can get an attack of five. Um, or I can use this bottom card to turn this into an attack of seven. I think I still have to discard a card from my hand, but I happen to have a wound card in my hand, so that's what I would discard. And so I would get an attack of seven, which is exactly enough to kill him. So I do need a green token, and if I want to block him completely, I need a blue token. So let's figure this out. Um, I don't have a green token. How did this happen to me? Because you re-rolled Jason, right? You got a white? Yes? Yeah. Uh, I don't have a green token. So I can't do that. Um, I'm still going to discard the card from my hand. Uh, I do have a red token. So I can play the red token on him. But that only gives me an attack of five. I need two more attack. I could use my, my crossbowman. I was hoping not to. Um, I can get a blue token from this, but I don't need the blue. So I'm going to use a blue crystal from my inventory for the block card. Okay, so I'm going to block him. And this does the five damage. And then I'm going to turn both of these cards sideways for six and seven. That's how I'm going to do it. So it does spend everything I have. It's spending two of my crystals, which are precious. My precious. But I get three experience points. Not a whole lot, but he was a pretty easy guy. And uh, more importantly, I defeated a keep. So um, you don't get anything for defeating a keep, I don't think. But I'm going to get increased hand size now uh, for being next to a keep Wait, at the end of my turn. City? The keep is not a city. No, this. What do you mean? Like in terms of recruitment? No, movement. Yeah, it only costs two movement to go into his oh, camp. Yes. I did four last time. <clears throat> sorry, you should have asked. Four. I'm sorry. You could have asked. I'm sorry. Um, so, just give me a second. I just want to make sure there's no other bonuses for defeating a keep. I did lose a reputation. You can recruit units there. If you end a turn on a keep, your hand limit is one higher for each keep you own, and that includes cities. Um, yeah, that's all. So, um, so how many keeps do I have? One. Just this the one? Yep. I all took right. a keep. Yeah, you took a keep. Okay. I took a mage tower, that's right. So I'm going to get seven cards because my normal card limit is six. So I got the cure. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I got the noble manners. And uh, Jason, I'm going to spend the right moment and take another turn. Okay? Wow. Wow, really? Yeah. You're just going to do that to me? So I'm going to do... 
Well, I thought I was going to do this. Um, I want to hire someone. Um, I'm in a keep. You know what? Being in a keep, I can only hire the lower level guys. I can't hire the upper level ones. So... I can get a Guardian Golem for seven. And this is four if I do the white, which I have. And I get plus two reputation just for um, um, my, my reputation gives me plus two. And I just need to turn a card sideways. Um, there's a white die that lets me do this. And I'm gonna turn the mana draw, no, the crystallized card sideways, I think. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do, well, I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna turn the, uh, the cure sideways. As much as, although I do get to draw cards, I don't have any green tokens, so I don't know if I'm ever going to get to use this spell. Alright, so what I did was I got some Guardian Golems. I may replace them eventually, or replace my Herbalists, but I wanted a full stack so that way when I attack the city I have four units that can help me. Okay, so by taking those Guardian Golems, my uh, Noble Manners card gives me plus one fame, plus one reputation. Wow, so reputation. if I move up one there and I move up one there and then um, I'm going to wait, I didn't wait how much rep did I get for last time I killed two greens you don't get rep if you're attacking his camp Aww. only if they're actually on the map um, you don't lose rep for attacking his camp though because it's not a city Okay, my turn. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard these, the crystallized card here. Well, let me reroll this. That's done at the end of the turn. I'm going to discard... the white. Really? Yeah. Really? Three, four, five, six, seven. So, I drew um, another attack card, a range attack, and a move. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm using this to draw two cards. There we go. Got something I wanted. So we're just gonna roll this now because oh, that's a black. Okay. Man, our dice situation is bad. So and then it's I'm dicey. gonna use white to move four with this card, and it also gives me during combat this turn you may spend any amount of move points as attack. As attack. Yep. One to get attack, one one movement point to get an uh, attack, just one. Well, and here, two look, to look. Get ranged one. you can use this so it's only one movement point to go in. It would have to be two as a wall. Well, there you go. Yeah. Then I'm going to use okay. a blue to move four more. So when that's eight, but then it will be minus two, so I get six for attack. So you're going to have six movement left over for the attack, yeah, right? Yeah, six movement left over for the attack. Okay. So now I'm fighting this Dumbo right here. I and like you got to roll the die. You have to block him, too. Roll the die, roll the die. Black. It's a three normal. So black is a three normal attack? Yeah. And he's just got all those things. So hopefully you can block yes, him. Yes, and then I'm going to gain one crystal mm -hmm. to my inventory. is the same color as one of the magic cards. Okay. So I'm going to gain blue. Okay. We'll see what happens. So you're going to try we'll to... see what happens. You're going to shield bash him? Shield bash him. Which does what? Blocks five, and and then I get... Reduces their armor? Reduces their armor by one for how much more block I have on him. So I'm blocking five here. Okay, but you need to block 12 in order to... Block 10. Are you able to get any more block? This point if you want. Isn't that? Oh, okay. I'm actually gonna do will focus here. 
Which will give you a plus which three. Which gives me a plus three for my block, and I'm going to do that on shield bash. Okay, which is how much? Five block. So that's actually now eight. That's eight block. Plus five more is 13. 13, so I've already beaten it. Then we're going to get ice. Well, here, I'm gonna, I have six attack here. Can you block with your ice mage? And then I can get ice block four, which he it would just be normal block then, right? It just counts as normal, but that you're now at 17 block. 17 block. So, so then he's attacking you with 12, so you just reduced his armor by five. So now you only need to do two more damage to kill him. That's not enough. Oh, you got the plus one siege token. So it would be 12 minus 5 is 7. I have 6. Plus 1 siege. He's dead. You have 6 what? Six oh, because you, you get to count the movement points, yeah. too. Oh my gosh, you, you way overkilled this guy. Yeah. 7 experience. Here you go. Awesome. And, um, Which, I didn't block this, though. Uh, yeah, you did. You had other block points you could have used. You could have used one of your blocks. Then I wouldn't have been able to kill him. Your ice... Your, you had 17 block. Yeah, You're, with all of my block combined. Right, but your ice mage block was what? And I have to use it on that guy to get the block. Armor minus one. Okay, stop for a second. You had six extra move points, which counts as an attack. Yeah. So let me show you. I'm going to show the camera so everybody can see, follow along with my logic here. He doesn't have physical... Oh, you need 14 to kill him. Yeah. I thought you just needed seven. So you did six to him, so that dropped it down to eight. And then you had five extra block. Oh, I need two. Oh, then the siege. The siege actually... You're right, your siege token did plus one. What if your ice mage didn't block and... Oh, that's right, because he's resistant. Hold on. You're right. You have it. You just didn't block his main attack. So let's do it that way. So he gained seven experience. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you had enough, but you, you didn't block uh, whatever his name's attack, right? Yeah. So you take a wound, but it's actually a six damage. Really? Oh, it's even worse, Jason. We're, we're totally... Oh, I'm paralyzed. Yeah, paralyzed would mean you'd lose all your cards. So that means you had to block him with one of your cards. And then you would have to do the 14 damage to the guy what? on top of that. So you're allowed to retcon everything. Um, I mean, obviously you wouldn't know what he was going to roll. You know, for the sake of simplicity, because this is just a teaching game for people watching, just re-roll his die and do a different outcome. Don't do the black. The black was an awful roll. Go ahead and roll it and get a different... Roadblock. I know. Well, that means you didn't kill him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So bad. If you didn't kill him, you would keep your cards, is what I'm trying to tell you. All you would do is just block Torvac or whatever his name is. I literally cannot get any more block than what I've had now. Or move. Because you use your agility card. It's impossible to get around. It's not impossible. The problem is... Okay, shush it. You, um, you already used two of your, your dudes. If you would have had your other two dudes to use, you would have killed him easily. Yeah, but I can't kill it this time. That means I'm going to have to wait until night time. If I wait until nighttime, it's too late. I get it. 
we lost the game. We sort of knew that for a while now. Now, the way this game works is you still score points and if you still have... If I could have killed him, I, we wouldn't have lost the game. You still score points and you still have... Um, uh, you still get a final score, you just won't score as much. This is why, by the way, we should co-op these attacks instead of splitting apart. Nope, I could have done it. If you didn't have paralyze. Are you positive that there's no other way? There is no other way. So your little thing... I had six attack, 17 block. So let's just say, use three of that block to block him. Got 14 block. And you needed uh, 12. That's only minus two. How many of your cards are block cards? Can you count them? One, two, two block cards. No, you had way more than two block cards. I had a plus three for this. Four for that. Okay. Let me explain to you what I'm thinking, because you're clearly not cooperating with me and answering my question. What if you didn't block him and just took the damage and then tried to get him with just attack? Not possible. Okay. You have that card that gives plus three yeah. to an attack. That would be nine. He has 14. I get it. You turn cards sideways. Also, you have that token that turn. turns something into range attack, which I don't know if that helps. No, it would and just it, turn it the same attack. You have, you have plus one siege because you have that skill token, and that never turns over, by the way. You get plus one every turn. So you have plus one siege there. You can turn your card sideways for plus one attack. Okay, so this would, this would block him. Correct. Then this would be attack of two, which would make it eight. Then we do will focus. Okay, no, hold on, hold on. It makes it nine because you have your siege plus one over there, correct? Nine. So you're at nine. And then this wouldn't do anything. It's ice attack and he has resistance to that. Okay, you do half. So that would be 11. 11, 12, 13, 14. Turn them sideways. No, I can do plus three with my... Okay. On the agility, making it 14. Yeah. You did it. No, I disagree. Yes, you did it. You absolutely did it. And you blocked him, correct? Yeah. So all you had to do was just not do the block strategy. How many uh, <clears throat> wounds did I take, though? Well, you're going to take wounds for six cold fire. So six damage, two. which is two wounds. Um, that, that was a brain burner, though. <laughs> All right, so you do get the seven experience points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no asterisk because you were able to block Tovac or whatever his name is. And Kovach, that's what I always want to call him. Okay, this is destroyed. Jason now took the bandit camp. And what on earth do you get for taking the bandit camp? Let's make sure we... Huh? No clue. We're going to find out. Give me a second. That was um, a brutal battle, but well done. You can use it as a city tile. That part I know. If Volcare is defeated, remove his finger, figure from the map and move the assaulting figure to its space. Um, in both cases, check the scenario description for what happens next. Well, unfortunately, our scenario description is... When the camp is conquered, it provides three advantages. Your hand limit goes up um, by uh, just like a city. Okay, so you're going to get... You're the leader, because you've completely destroyed it yourself. So you're going to get plus two to your hand count, plus one for every other keep. And then recruiting, 
It's a keep or a village for recruitment purposes. Um, and then the pursuing thing. So you can, you can just uh, attack extra monsters. So that's it. That was a level four, Volcare. That's his name, Volcare. Level four. What'd you think? It's rough. <laughs> it's almost like a dog barking. Rough. Yeah. Okay, so it's my turn, and um, my situation is I'm ready to attack my city, the white one here, but I have this wound I would like to get rid of. Uh, just because I'm greedy and I want that one extra card. So I could do a rest, which would let me discard this. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And then let's hope that I draw... Uh, yep, I do. So I drew a move card, which isn't very helpful. But I can at least turn it sideways for something. And then um, I only have uh, two cards left in my deck. Uh, so I'm burning through my deck really bad. Um, and before I took my turn, it was his turn. So we drew a red, two more come out. Jason, it's your turn. Obviously you have some healing to do. Um, there's a village there. If you moved, if you can move to the village, you can buy healing potions. Healing, yeah. Or you can rest and just discard them all. Wait, I can rest and discard all of them? All of the wounds, yes. Oh, and we're doing that. That's, that's what I just did on my turn. And we're doing that. So Five wounds. But no, 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 discard. They go to your discard pile. It's your choice, buddy. Or move to a a village and heal. Those are your choices. And then draw back up. I get ten. Okay. okay. AI see. turn. One, two, three, and then one, two more. So uh, I, would, I would get two for this, right? Two what? Extra cards. Yeah, because you're the leader. And then one for every other. Keep. So you can get one more for this. So you're three over your hand limit. Oh, I have ten. Also, um, uh, you can provoke those guys to get more experience points and reputation. And then position yourself to get that last tile revealed. Okay, I am attacking the city. We've waited long enough. The search is over. You've been with me all the while. That's probably a song before your time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and attack. The only die available to me from the die pool is a red, and I'll take it. We don't know what to do with it, but we'll figure it out. Um, I am for sure going to do a white here that says take a die from the mana pool and set it to any color except gold and gain two tokens of that color. So I'm probably going to use it to gain two red tokens for for these. Uh, but I might actually know. I'm going to do it for white. So I'm going to take this, turn it into a white, which actually goes back into the mana pool that way. And um, I get two white tokens. And you'll see why in a second. Because this is range attack three, range attack four. That's what that gives me. So there's a range attack four. And then, sorry for the camera movement, range attack three. I would like the attack four from this one and the attack four from that one. Uh, I only have, oh, I have a red die here. And then I have a red crystal. So I'm already planning out my turn without even looking at the uh, monsters, but it's sort of what you want to do. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got two purple and a white. And then um, remember the white city... All the units in it get extra armor of plus one, which could be brutal. So here we go. First one is the Delphina Mages. So these guys, uh, it's basically a band of heroes. They can paralyze me if I don't block a cold fire of five. Oh, they suck. Um, I do lose one reputation for attacking a city. I'm going to do that right now. Um, they are fortified because they're in a city. So this eight, um, they have resistance to everything but regular physical attack. Range attack doesn't work on them because they're fortified. This is a six. Um, 
basically it's um sorcerers and they're immune to any like magic cards that are not attack you know just, and then these guys will only attack me and they poison um and then this one is physically immune fire immune or i'm not immune but resistant and then um ice is the only thing that really hurts them um and then they do three damage of fire so they all stink uh to put it bluntly um and then these two are only going to attack me. And then this one's a Paralyze, which is the worst possible card ever. And I don't have Siege Attack at all. So I'm going to have to block this guy. And I need 10 block. Jason, I just lost the game for us. This guy right here is ruining my day. That guy, it's impossible. What are you doing? Make it sure you can see. Yeah, I think everybody can see it, buddy. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the weird thing about this attack is it's called a cold fire. So you need cold fire defense or, um, or, the, or you have to double your... Um, so I need 10 block to block this. Um, I actually have 8 range attack, but he's fortified, so I can't... It doesn't do me any good. So let's move these out of the way. Put them up here. Here you can see I can do a block 3. So let's... Let's get three block from him. Here, I can block two or do a fire or ice block. Um, the fact that it's fire or ice block doesn't help, but it, it does have a higher number. So it would be nice to do extra block. Now this guy does fire block six, which again is gonna get cut in half. Um, actually, it doesn't get cut in half. It's, it's the six we need. So I'm going to have to take one of these red crystals I put on somebody else and put it up there for a fire block of six. This is nine, and if I took just my movement card and turned it sideways, that's ten block. So we were able to block this, uh, this guy. I had to do it because otherwise he paralyzes you. That's bad news all around. Everybody else I'm going to have to let hit me. Because uh, I need everybody else to do the damage I need to do. So I'm going to let this one... This one has to attack me because that's what the little dagger means there. So I'm going to let him attack me. And... Um, uh, <clears throat> this fire block here can actually prevent his damage from getting through. But let's figure this out. This guy's coming through with six damage. I have three armor. I'm taking two wounds. Now, because he has a poison ability, uh, I take two more wounds, and it gets added to my discard pile. So it's going to go into my deck. So not a fun day. And the thing is, is I don't know how I'm going to kill all these guys. I mean, I'm desperately just getting through the block phase and all this stuff. So this one here, he's going to do a six fire attack. My fire mages here actually have fire resistance. So what that means is I could absorb four of his attack, but I would still take a wound. Um, that hurts. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, if I did, I'm pretty much going to replace my fire mages next round, but I can't because it's this special guy. So I'd have to use special heals, which I can do. I mean, this heal too will heal the fire mage. Um, uh, yes, so I'm at an hour and 30, so let me end this and I will see you in two seconds.